Hello all, welcome to Ansar Kari. So let's continue dealing with the questions. Now this question says find the least number of 5 digits which when divided by 63, 56 and 42 leaves remainder 1 in each case. So in each case, condition we have that we just need to add this remainder later on after finding the LCM. So to find the least common multiple of these numbers which is 5 digits. Ka, right, we need to find the least number which is divisible, so the remainder is 1. So when the remainder is 1, that we will consider later on. First, we will focus on just that fact that the number is divisible in three numbers. So that is the number is divisible by 63, 56 and 42. All these three numbers. So what we know is that the least number of five digits is 10,000. So 10,000 is a 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 10,000 is the least number that is a 5 digit number, right? But then they say which when divided by all these numbers, it should leave remainder 1. So remainder 1 ka case hum bar mein So first, as we have been doing since long, we'll first find out the least common multiple of these numbers. So we'll write the numbers here, 63, then we have 56 and then we have 42. So 42 is what? 7 multiplied by 6. So 7 into 3 into 2 we can write. So we have prime number ki form. Mein lik diya. So when we move on to 56, 56 is 8 multiplied by 7. So we can write here 7 and then 2 raised to the power 3. Right? So 8 multiplied by 7 becomes 56. Then we move on to 63. So it is. So it can be 21 multiplied by 3. Then 21 again we can write as 7 multiplied by 3. So 63 basically is like a 3 raised to the power 2 because we have 2 3's and then we have 1 7 that is multiplied by 7. So to find out the least common multiple again we will take the uh, base as well as the highest power available in all these cases. So here for example if we take if we start with 2, 2 ki highest power is 3 so we will write here 3 multiplied by 3. 3 is highest power is 2 multiplied by 7. So we have this as the least common multiple of all these numbers. So if we write it will be 8 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 7 which will again give us 504. So in case LCM 504. After this uh, we need to divide this number that is 10,000 by 504 to check that 504 yani ke, since you know that 504 divisible hai completely in some numbers but it is the least number. Hai. But the least number is that should be of 5 digits. That's why we will try to find the number of 10,000. The number that is more than 10,000. Which number is completely divisible. So again if we go with this process. First we will put here 1. So we will subtract 500 from 1,000. And we will get 496 here. Then again we will bring down the 0 here. So we'll get to know that approximately check for the number five four nine six zero, then it will go by nine. That is five zero four multiplied by nine, it becomes four five three six. So if we subtract these, we'll get four two four. So any case remainder area that is four two four, which means that uh, if we four two four, that is if we subtract four hundred twenty four from ten thousand, we get such a number milega, which will be divisible by 504 but we need a number just ki at least just ki five digits so and that should be the least number right which means that we need to subtract 424 from 504 and then we need to add that particular number to 10,000 because we have five digit ka number chahiye, and that should be the least number taki wo se it is divisible by which is the gap present hai. Yani ke, jitna gap present hai, if we subtract these, wo jo hai wo fulfill ho jai, and we add it to 10,000. This now becomes 80. So which means that 10,080 will be the number. It will be the least 5 digit number. Jo ki completely divisible hai in tino numbers se. Completely divisible. But hume kya chahiye ki remainder jo wo 1 ho. So remainder is 1 in each case. Hence we will simply add 1 to this. And so the answer that we we'll get is 10,081, which means 10,081 is such least number of five digits. Just if we divide by all these three numbers, 
will get the remainder as 1. So which means that B will be the answer for this particular question. Getting along with the next question, the highest common factor and least common multiple of two numbers are 44 and 264 respectively. If the first number is divided by 2, the quotient is this. The other number is. So basically, the highest common factor or LCM is two numbers. Ka. Which means if we suppose that there are these two numbers and in the highest common factor is equal to 44 and their least common multiple is equal to 264. Now one thing we know is uh, the by the formula we know is that highest common factor multiplied by least common multiple of two numbers is equal to the product of those two numbers. This is already pada by the formula we need to remember this. Then next information is if the first number if the first number we suppose karle ki the first number hai, wo x hai. if the first number is divided by 2 the quotient is 44 so yani ki x here should be equal to 88 if we want the quotient to be 44 right remainder we are considering as zero only so that is the reason ki hame jo x hai wo 88 milta hai to agar hum situation mein put kare then they are asking what is the other number so obviously the other number is y. So to if we need to calculate the other other number, we need to uh, put in all the other values in this particular equation. So highest common factor is 44 multiplied by 264. Then x value is 88. Because quotient 44 will be aega, right? When up 88 will This we can also find out by the formula that is dividend. Hota hai. That is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus the remainder. So remainder we have zero hi consider kara, obviously. Because there is information and they have directly said that the quotient is this. So, we will put value put in kar lenge, and hence we will find the dividend. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. Right? So, by this formula. Uh, now, we need to find out the value of y here. So, if we bring down 88 here, this will be 1, this will be 2. So, cancel out it will be 1, 3 and then 2. Which means that y will be equal to 1. Then the second number we have. We two numbers consider. The second number is y. Its value is 132. Which means that this will be the answer for this particular question. Then this next question says the largest natural number which exactly divides the product of any four consecutive natural numbers is. So we ask that the largest is a natural number. Hai? which exactly divide the product of any four consecutive natural numbers. So, you know, any four consecutive natural numbers. And we need to start with the smallest. If you can smallest, ko wo kar sakta, that will be the criteria. Smallest in the sense, suppose we take the first four consecutive natural numbers. So, 1, 3, 4 is there. Then they are saying the product. So, in the product. For example, their product will be equal to 8 multiplied by that will be equal to 24. Now 24 is what? 24 is divisible by what? 24 is divisible by, in some numbers, 24 is divisible by 6, 12, as well as 24 itself. But they have asked the largest natural number. So in the largest case, obviously 24 will be the answer. Yani 24 is such a number, which exactly divides the product of any four consecutive natural numbers. Because obviously, since we have any criteria, we can take any consecutive natural number. Le sakta. For example, if we take the numbers 10, 11, 12, and 13. If we take product, karte, then we get the product as 17160. And if we divide it by 24, we get the answer as 715. So, we can check that we can take any consecutive natural number, ke se, four numbers. Ke so we started with the smallest because it is basic and easy to calculate. And we need to focus upon the term largest. This is divided by 6, se bhi divide ho hai, 2, se bhi, 3, if we talk about numbers. Ki baat kare to. But they are asking the largest natural number. Which exactly divides the product of any four consecutive natural numbers. Hence the answer will be equal to 24.